Yo, what's up guys? Thanks for checking out my channel. If you're new here, if you've seen some of my other videos, a lot of my videos consist of me fixing up broken and cheap outboard motors. And so in this video, I wanted to break down how I get parts for some of these like older outboard motors and sometimes finding parts can be a little tricky. So for this example here, we have this Honda two horsepower, four stroke. Uh, based on the decals, it's a 1980s model. And uh, for this motor, I picked it up for 20 bucks actually. And uh, the guy I bought it from had a pretty like minimal posting. It was just like Honda, 20 bucks. So I was like, all right, let's do it. And so uh, when I showed up, the dude basically had all the parts just in a grocery bag. So like the whole lower unit, all the bolts, propeller, gear case and everything was just in a grocery bag. So if you buy cheap outboards like me, typically you run into broken parts and missing parts. So in these next steps, I'm going to show you where I find diagrams and the parts that I need to figure out how to get these motors back up and running. So this website here is boats.net. I'm not sponsored by them or anything, but I just think they're a really great website that have great diagrams and tell you all the parts you need to fix your motor. So we're gonna go to my motor, it's a Honda, it's an outboard, and yeah, it looks like they also have other types of Honda motors to check out as well. Now mine's a two horsepower, and if you look on the side of your motor, you can get the serial number. In this case, this was the right serial number that matched up with my motor. So if we go to gear case, you know, you can see they have great diagrams for putting everything back together. Since my whole lower unit was in a grocery bag, you know, these diagrams really helped putting all these miscellaneous bolts and pieces in the lower unit back together. So if we go to extension case here, again, great diagrams. And uh, after putting everything back together, I noticed that I was basically missing the whole water pump assembly, including the impeller, impeller cover, and housing. And so if we go to impeller here, you know, you can see they have it in stock. You know, it is like about 27 bucks, which to me seems kind of steep for a, a little two horsepower impeller. And so what we're going to do here is we're going to take that part number and copy that and see if we can find it cheaper on eBay. So if we paste that into there, yeah, you can see now that we have 14 sellers selling this and looking at the price, it's about like, you know, half the price when you factor in shipping as well compared to boats.net. Um, I do use Amazon a lot too. I like their return policy over eBay. Um, but if I do buy on eBay, I tend to try to buy from sellers that have free returns in case the item doesn't work out. And so I am missing a few other parts. So we're just going to go back and check one other part. And so if we go back here to the parts list, we go to the gear case. You know, I was missing this housing impeller piece, parts one and two. And unfortunately, it's unavailable on boats.net. But uh, we're going to click it anyways just to get that part number to see and yeah sometimes they have a good photo too in this case they don't have a photo of what that part looks like but typically they do which helps out and again we're going to go to ebay and copy that part number and see if we can find it and sweet they have one part available and that looks like the right part and part number that i need so here's the honda all fully assembled you know it's got a new water pump here I just threw it in a bucket because it's so light. You know, I didn't even feel like throwing it on a stand. But just a little overview on the motor. You know, the only part it's missing is this like plastic cover piece. You know, at the time of filming this, I could not find this part on boats.net or on any other third party sites. You know, it doesn't affect the way the motor runs, but maybe I'll try to find it. Um, this motor only has a forward gear, so there's no neutral. So once it fires up, that prop spinning. And a uh, pretty simple setup. You just got your choke. And this is the starting position. So as you move this, that controls how fast the RPMs move and forward. So I had this motor sitting like six months now and I was gonna clean the car, but I was like, wait a minute, it's a Honda, dude. They always run. So I just threw some fresh gas in it and it fired up. I'll show you guys right now. All right, just gonna pull the choke out. Got to start to the starting position. Got some fresh fuel in the tank. Let's see what she does.
that pretty much sums up this video. Hopefully that tutorial was helpful for finding parts or diagrams on some of the outboard motors you guys are working on. So yeah, if you guys like these types of videos of me fixing up outboards, hit that like and subscribe button. I'll see you on the next one.